have tried to film this video three times and I've hated it every time. But this time, whether I like it or not, it's getting uploaded. I'm answering questions that you guys have asked me over on Instagram. It's boiling right now, like I'm, I'm sweating loads. Get an ice cold drink, a little snack. So let's get right into it. Just before we get into the video, I have sitting on my cheek the whole time of this video. I don't know what it is. Maybe it's food, probably is food. My face is also so sweaty. I was so hot in that car. I just wanted to apologize. Also look at my Harry Styles cup. Enjoy. A lot of people asking the basics, so I'm gonna run you through it. I'm 27, I'm a Virgo. I was born on the 5th of September, 1996. I'm an only child. Oh God, my dad's FaceTiming me. Love you, bye. Where was I? Basic facts. I'm five foot eight and three quarters. I know that's very specific, but I once, I, w I used to want to work in Disney and I had to know my exact height. Turns out I'm too tall for anything other than like being a male character, which is fine, but like, you know, I wanted to be Belle. I wanted to be a princess. A lot of people asking how long I've been with James for. If you don't know, James is my boyfriend slash fiance, and we've been together for nine years and we got engaged May the 9th this year, 2024. Okay, so the next question is, what was a job I wanted when I was a kid? So there was two. Number one, I wanted to work at Disney. I used to do singing, acting, and dancing. So I used to go to stagecoach. I loved it. I wasn't, I wasn't good at it, but I really, really enjoyed it. Yeah, I used to want to be a Disney character or anything to do with Disney. I still love Disney. I actually really want to go and see Inside Out 2 in the cinema ASAP. I just love Disney. Like last year for my 27th birthday, I went to Disney World in Florida. Like big, big Disney fan. And then the other job I wanted was I used to want to be a vet purely because my basis was that like I want to be a vet because I love animals but the thing is I'm just not smart enough to be a vet like I'm not saying I'm not intelligent okay but I'm just not smart smart enough see that says it all really what's my life motto everything happens for a reason I know some people hate that I love it I absolutely love it because I just think everything does happen for a reason because something will happen whether it be good or bad and then in a few weeks a few months or in a few years you're like oh my gosh if that didn't happen then this wouldn't have happened and i just think everything does happen for a reason tell us about your education sorry i actually failed my a levels first year around i just didn't study enough for my a levels i did biology chemistry media studies and psychology i then made the decision after my parents told me off multiple times i decided to reset my a levels i did it with my friend then I just did biology, chemistry, and media, dropped psychology. I honestly found it so hard. That's when I found my study technique and I just worked in a way that worked for me. I ended up passing them all. That's when I discovered my love for biology. Then I went to Essex Uni in Colchester. I studied biological sciences and honestly, Essex Uni, best uni ever. Then I did a placement year and I was working at Sainsbury's head offices in London. Then I took a year off to focus on social media. Throughout uni, I was still doing my Instagram account. Then I went to UCL. University College London and studied a master's in eating disorders and clinical nutrition. I never thought I'd get into UCL because it's one of the like best unis in the world and stuff like that. And let me tell you, you can do anything. If I can get into UCL, the girl who failed at A-levels, you can do anything. I can't get very comfortable. My favorite music. So to be honest, anything. Harry Styles and like One Direction, but I also love musicals, pop. I love old school. I love R&B. I love Disney. You get the point. I like love it all. I even love like like jazz and country. I'm not a massive fan of like, yeah, I will die for you. It's just not for me, really. My favorite perfume, Paco Rabanne. I think it's called Fame and it looks like a robot. Also anything Caroline Herrera, 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 the one like the shoe shaped perfume. And then I also recently really like an, this Estee Lauder one. I can't remember the name of it. So I'll add a photo on the screen. Do I have any tattoos or piercings? Um, I only have my first and my second done on my ear and I wear the same earrings all the time. These are both from Millie Grace Jewelry. And I don't have any tattoos. If I was to get one, I'd get a little elephant somewhere because my grampy loved elephants and I would get that to remember him. Can we have a morning routine video? If you want that, let me know. I will quickly run you through my morning routine. So we wake up, which is always a bonus. And I go downstairs, have some water, make a coffee, always a snack because personally my hormones need that snack to just keep them happy. Because um, if you'd seen previous videos, I did lost my period and that was something that basically I just need to do. And then normally I would journal, manifest things, say everything I'm grateful for. And then I'd read my books. I'm currently reading something called The Nanny. It's a very spicy book. A lot of adult cuddles going on then i would have a poo brush my teeth get changed into my gym kit and me and james have a drink gym in the garage just do a little workout or something move my body or go for a walk have my ag1 have my breakfast shower get ready for the day that's my normal morning routine 
blatantly, guys, Love Island's on. So scrap all that. The journal doesn't happen. The reading doesn't happen. I just watch Love Island in the morning because I'm asleep by 9 p.m. So I'm not making it for Love Island. So I watch it in the morning. What's my biggest ick in the opposite sex? So I, can, I have a new ick. James unlocked a new ick the other day, okay? We were sitting at the dinner table and it's getting quite hot now in the UK and a fly comes in, quite a few flies, and he tries to swat it and he does this. So this is the flight and he goes, he tries to catch the flight, he misses. And then when he misses, he just goes, him missing a fly. I know that sounds so pathetic. It was an ick, it was a new ick unlocked. And also when he eats a banana, not because of the shape of the banana, nothing like that. It's just because he eats it, like, it, like it's a brick. Like he chews it and he's chomping. Like there's nothing to chomp on. Like there's nothing to chomp on. Someone said, give us two truths and one lie. Let me have a think. Mm. Number one, I've swam with sharks with no cage. Number two, me and James have visited over 20 countries together. And number three, I have met Cheryl Cole. Comment below what you think is the lie. <laughs> okay, last couple of questions. What is my favorite drink? So this is really boring. My favorite drink is H2O. I love water. Like I've been brought up in Wales. The water is 10 out of 10. Um, if I'm on a night out, I do love I love a Prosexy, aka a Prosecco. I like to put orange juice in it because I don't love alcohol, if I'm being honest. I also just went to Tesco, actually, and I picked up some of this. I always drink the Remedy Kombucha. I love it. When I say always, well, yeah, I have one a day, especially when it's hot. I also just got this from Tesco. I don't drink this straight, straight up, but this is what I have in my coffee every morning. It's the Alpro Vanilla Soy Milk. If you haven't had it in your coffee, it's just lush. Like, if you like a sweeter coffee, but you don't want to add sugar, because I personally don't like the taste of sugar in coffee, but this just is just delicious i highly recommend and the final question is do you have any updates on when you're getting married i'm sorry but i don't have any updates other than i used to think that i want to elope and i don't want any of my family and friends there but now after we got engaged and nobody was there i think now i do want like some people there but honestly the thought of organizing it like i'd rather just say someone just surprise me and i'll just turn up don't want to organize it and i don't want to pay for it like I would rather all of my money goes on traveling. I love traveling. I love exploring. And I just rather travel. So I will keep you posted, I promise. I'm not going to keep it a secret. Currently, no plans other than probably not going to be next year, but maybe the year after. If you made it this far, thank you so much for watching. I am sweltering in this car. Please like this video and subscribe. Make sure you follow me on Instagram as well. Bye.